In today's video, I am going to be breaking down three unstoppable four-out basketball plays for your team. These will work extremely well at the high school level. Let's get down, let's check these out really quickly. If you want an unbeatable basketball defense, make sure to go check out the link down in the description below. Okay, so in this first play, what we're going to start with is the ball handler will be on the same side as that low post player. And we're gonna be going up against a man-to-man -man defense. So there's two different ways of actually setting up a four out, and this actually works both ways. You can essentially do a four corner style offense, or you can have basically a high four out. Now, both of which will work, and they are both used for different situations. So if we're going up against a man-to-man, -man, we're going to do a high four out. However, if we're going up against the zone, the wing players will go down into the corners. So this first play is going to have player four setting a screen for player one, and player one is going to be using that screen. At this time, player five is going to be setting a screen on player four's man. So for example, after player four sets that screen, or while he's setting it, player five is going to be setting a screen on the hedge man, which is player four's initial defender. At this point in time, player four is going to be cutting towards the rim, and player one is going to be driving towards the rim, hoping to bring out that defender. If that's the case, we should have an easy, easy, easy pass to player four for a layup. Now, if you would like, because I really personally hate having players standing around, I like quick, fast offenses, what we can have is player three setting a back screen for player two, who will then go down into that low corner. In case there is a help side defender here, we can kick out for a three-point shot. You always want to have multiple options. Now, if we are playing up against a 2-3 zone, we'll do the same exact play, however we'll do the four corners idea. The main idea here, however, is to still have that screen for player one. Now the idea here is being a four corners, you're spreading the defensive players out much farther, and that's going to allow us to really run this play perfectly. Because what's going to happen is player four is also going to be moving up, and player one is going to be attacking player four to at least bring him away from the key. Player five, however, is going to be setting a screen on this initial man, and player four is going to be rolling towards the basket. However, he's going to be going towards that low block and not the basket itself. This is extremely important because now player four is going to be cutting down. Player one is going to be looking to pass player four that ball. This is going to be collapsing the defense in on him. Player five is going to be hopefully wide open in the middle of the key for a, a floater, for a layup, for an alley-oop. And if this really does collapse the defense to try to stop him, we've got players out here who can jack up threes, or if player three blue was smart, he would cut back door to get a layup. Now in this next play, it's actually quite interesting. And what we're going to have here is player one is going to pass over to player four, and player five is going to be setting a back screen for player one. Of course, if player one is open, you can give him that layup, pass him that ball for that easy layup. That is an option. However, what we are really looking to actually do is to then have player four dribble that ball up towards the point. And of course, if player five could set that screen, that would make it even better. And we would then have players two and three to go into the low post to set essentially an elevator screen, which means basically a sandwich screen for player one, because then they should be able to close that gap. Player one should be able to pop out and off this screen. Player five could be going into the low post to get the rebound. And player one could be then open for that three point shot. Now this play really only works against man-to-man, -man. however it's still a fantastic option to run. Now that last play is a fantastic play to run when you're going up against a man-to-man, -man, or if you have one single player who is just an absolutely killer three-point shooter, very similar to Curry, this is actually a play that's very similar to what the Golden State Warriors use to get Curry three-point shots. This is a very, very good play if you find that your team plays up against man-to-man -man defenses and if you have a really good three-point shooter. 
Now keep in mind, you're not always having to set up every single four out offense on the same size, side as that low post player. It just sometimes makes it easier. However, here what we're going to have is player three setting the pin down screen for player four, and player four is going to be popping out. At the same exact time, we want to have a pin down screen for player five, who will then use that screen and go towards the high post. Now you're probably wondering, well, why? Why are we running for a player five who should be in the low post? Why are we running it for him out on the perimeter? Well, I am a big proponent of having every single player being able to shoot. And of course, that's a very easy shot for a center and also gives him a one dribble drive towards the basket if the lane is open. The other option is, of course, player four who can jack up a three point shot, which is also an option. However, if player 5 was to get that ball, what we can look at too is if player 3 was trying to hedge to try to cut off that pass, and if player 4 was trying to get around to recover back, we may have a nice tic-tac-toe play where we just pass to 5, pass to 3 for a layup. Now this is a very rare option, but it is worth saying because I've seen it ran a few times like that, and it's worked. These are three amazing 4-0 plays that you could run with your team if you run the 4-out offense. I wouldn't just randomly throw in a 4-out play if you were not running a 4-out offense. It would probably confuse most teams unless they are highly advanced senior teams. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time. Make sure to go check out my book down in the description below.